I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's a tour of the Q170 MIDI Gates module. Okay, here's the Q170 MIDI Gates module and what this module does is it takes a MIDI input and it produces eight gate outputs. Each of these gates are programmable for note on messages, CC messages, or MIDI sync messages. There's a through output and there's also an output that has the programmed notes and CC messages filtered out of the stream. So what we have here is a, a MIDI patch going into our MIDI interface and just driving an oscillator and a filter and a VCA. And we'll use that for testing. So what I'm going to do is put this MIDI gates module in series with the MIDI interface. So this is from our keyboard and then we're just going to take our through output and we're going to go into our MIDI interface. So now everything will work just like it did before. But now we're going to program some uh, notes for these gates here. And when you press a set button, whatever messages get sent to the MIDI input are programmed to the output. And when you press and release, then it clears the me memory. So let's clear all the memories. And these memories are stored through power up. So I'm going to hold the set button down and I'm going to press a key. And that C key is now a gate, produces a gate here. And this gate is a five volt gate. It can be used for anything. You can trigger an envelope generator with it, but you can also transpose an oscillator or adjust a filter frequency. So I'm going to play around here on the other notes. But when I hit this C note that's programmed, we're going to get a gate output there. So let's do something with that 5 volt gate output. Let's take this gate output and let's uh, control the filter here. Okay, now there can be multiple notes programmed to that one channel there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to press the set button and I'm going to do C, D, and E. Now when we play around, let's do something else with this gate output. Let's transpose this oscillator and we're going to go into the variable input on the oscillator. Make sure you're in DC mode. And so what's going to happen here is whenever I hit a key that's programmed, uh, we're going to get a gate and that gate is 5 volts, but we're going to tone that gate down to something else and get maybe uh, a fifth or an octave or whatever. So let's do that. Let's see what happens. the gate to transpose an oscillator and it can be any uh, completely variable here with using the variable input. Okay let's do something else. Let's um, take a, a MIDI keyboard that can produce CC messages and I've got a, an M audio here that has a MIDI output and we're going to plug our MIDI output right into the input and I'm going to just clear that one and that one and that one. So what I've got here is uh, some various CCs, obviously uh, buttons and knobs. So I'm going to show you how it works with CCs because I think it's very uh, intuitive. If you press a button, you get one message. And the Q170 module will interpret that as a button. And that button becomes toggle on, toggle off. So let me show you that. I'm going to press the set button. I'm going to send. Uh, a CC4 in this case, and let go. Now, this gate output is set to be controlled by this CC message, and here it is. Toggles on, toggles off. Okay, now let's um, program this second one to this CC5 knob here. Now, a knob gives a string of messages, and the Q170 will notice that you're 
turning that and getting a lot of messages and it'll say, okay, that's a knob. And when it's a knob, uh, below half will be off and above half will be on. So let's do that. Let's set and move the knob. Okay, now let's move the knob and we're going to get no gate when we're about halfway, but as soon as we go up above half, we're going to get a gate. And of course you can use that gate output to change your filter. Let's do that. Now we're, it's just an on and off signal. It's just a, a gate signal. And we can use the CC toggle on and off. So that's how easy this is to program. Uh, you can send MIDI note on and note off messages and you can send any of the CC's. So it could be any of these knobs. So you could have a gate assigned to each of these knobs or each of these buttons and multiple. You can have notes and knobs uh, programmed to a single gate. Uh, one thing that could be helpful is to actually use your keyboard as a way to program sounds. Uh, in this example I'm going to just set three to this note right here. So whenever I press that note, I get that gate. So I can play around here. And part of that, what you're hearing, was the, uh, the note priority on the MIDI interface. But anyway, I was using this key to change the filter frequency. Now we have an output here that has this note filtered out, so instead of the through output, we'll use that. And we'll do this here. So we're not getting a note because that's filtered out because it's programmed. So I can play. Okay, now let me show you another thing that it will do with uh, MIDI note on and off messages. So we're going to press set one and we're going to press the note on and off. And now we have a follow. When I push the key down, I get a gate. And when I lift the key up, the gate goes away. But now I'm going to program it as a trigger. And how you do that is you send it twice. So I'm going to press set and I'm going to press one, two. Okay, now this key will be a toggle. So I turn it off, turn it on. Now the third option is to have a short trigger pulse. Okay, so I'm going to press it one, two, three. Now when I press this key, I'm going to get a short trigger pulse. And there it is. So you have those three options. You have follow, toggle on and off, and a trigger pulse. And you have those uh, for note ons and note offs. Okay, there's another thing that I can't show you here, but if this MIDI input stream contains uh, MIDI sync signals such as clock, start, stop, continue, you can program these outputs uh, to fire when those signals come in. And the manual shows you how to do that. And also on the clock output, you have the ability to select uh, divisions of divide by 1, divide by 2, divide by 3, all the way up to 32. Uh, there's 11 total divisions and the manual shows you how to press a set button and, uh, and program in the different clocks. So that will, I think, be useful for those who use a DAW and use uh, other devices that send those sync signals. So all of these could be uh, patched into a sequencer in the 960, Q119, that sort of thing, to clock the sequencer from an external source or to uh, just synchronize it, start it and stop it, and that sort of thing. So I hope that helps and the Q170 is on the website. And this particular module, this is a, a prototype and it says note gates. Uh, that was the first name for it, but the number of features increased and so I started calling it MIDI gates and that's the real name of it now, Q170 MIDI gates module.